hello and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am going to be filming a diamond painting and chat video and i am going to be diamond painting one of the um disney crystal art stickers so i'm going to do this stitch one um it shouldn't take me too long i should be able to complete it all within this video um apologies for the lights so basically i'm filming this in the evening and I'm not using my light board because I've literally got, um, it's a tiny, tiny thing that I'm doing. So I've just got my other light on, but obviously with that you can see the holographicness of the background of this picture. I think it looks kind of cool, but yeah, um, I do apologise about that. I've also got a new tripod, which I am using. I'll just get started. So um, the pen that I'm going to be using is this lipstick looking pen I got a while back from Timu been using this quite a lot um so i've already kitted up um when i say that i've just put stuff in trays i'm just going to peel this all off like so um yeah basically i'm filming this in the evening so uh i've just got like a bit of time now to be able to do it so i'll start with d hopefully this shouldn't be too long um well it can't be too long because i am wanting to watch big brother at nine o'clock and it is currently eight something so yeah um i've just realized you're not actually seeing any of that bit there we go so um yeah i got a um new tripod recently from timu which is going to be in an upcoming video i believe it will be in the video that i upload after this one another timu haul and i've got a new tripod it clips on to my table and then can be like overhead so you can see like down on what i'm doing i feel like this is going to be so much better for my um videos fingers crossed um having said that having said that there are some pre-filmed videos um which like my timu haul which don't have um me which have me using my old tripod so please bear with me whilst i get used to this and whilst i'm still um because i pre-filmed some some bits in advance so yeah i think this is going up next friday i don't even know what even is the date today i don't know um yeah since i've got these stickers i've done the nemo one and yeah that was really quick easy to do i sealed it i stuck it in the book and then i've got obviously doing this one now i need to move this because it's getting a bit annoying because i keep having to to swap to the other side to get the actual diamonds problem is it's around me i'm surrounded by trays of diamonds because i am in the middle of doing another diamond painting which I haven't actually shown on the channel. Well, I've shown the actual diamond painting. Um, it's one I got from Shein, but I haven't actually filmed any of me doing it. And I don't think, I, there's a few that I've been doing that I'm just like doing independently and stuff. Um, but I am very soon gonna be doing a diamond painting update kind of thing, showing you some of the paintings that I've been doing recently so keep a look out for that if you're interested i mean it's probably going to be a few weeks because the one that i'm currently doing i want to finish and i may try and do one ooh, i may try and do one more after it um just because you know like i might do that because i want to have quite a few to show you i mean there's some which i will be showing you which you would have seen in videos so yeah um but it's gonna be basically because my kind of way my diamond painting has worked and the way that i've been doing it is i kind of properly completed um diamond paintings and started kind of properly in january so it's going to be from january to march i think i'm thinking towards the end of march i could do one couldn't i saying that by the time this gets uploaded it's going to be nearly middle of March anyway. Wow, like, time's going so, so quick. 
I mean, it's Mother's Day this week. Um, I mean, I don't really get a Mother's Day. It's going to make me probably sound quite bad, but like, to be honest, I don't get it. <laughs> Why? Why was there never like a uh, Daughter's Day or a Son's Day or something? Mother's Day, Father's Day. Um, my mum actually doesn't live near me, so I'm not going to be seeing her. I'll speak to her and stuff, but I won't, I won't be seeing her on Mother's Day. Um, so yeah, but I do, um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really see the point in it. But excitingly, after this, well, I after this few weeks, it's going to be Easter. I am super duper excited for Easter. I think mainly just for Easter eggs. Um, um, I always get an Easter egg at Easter from my partner. Um, the reason being is we do Easter eggs for each other because obviously now we're adults, um, we don't get Easter eggs from anyone else. I mean, when I was a child, I used to get Easter eggs, even as a teenager. And even when I was like sort of in my 20s, early 20s, I think, I got Easter eggs from my parents or from my nan. Um, I mean, I don't really see them now, so see them at Easter um, very often. So for that reason, that's probably one of the reasons. But, you know, I used to get an Easter egg from them and I don't, which is fine, I understand. But, you know, you can't have an easter without an easter egg i'm gonna be one of them people that's still there at the age of 90 having an easter egg it's the same at christmas with an advent calendar i'm gonna still be having an advent calendar at the age of 90 i don't care chocolate is chocolate um so yeah and if me and my partner didn't do easter eggs i just buy one for myself um, I mean, I do. I used to buy them for myself after Easter when they had all the sales on. But they used to be so good. You could get like a whole Easter egg for like a pound after Easter in the sale. Now, I swear they don't do sales. I think I was in Morrison's last year after Easter and having a look to see if they had any reduced Easter eggs. And they didn't or they were like very slight. They were like reduced by say like a £10 egg was reduced to £8 or something like that. And there was actually some, some man in Morrison, some guy in there, um, customer, and he asked the staff member, are these going to be reduced any further? Um, is this the lowest price? And they were like, no, they'll probably sell like this um, at this price. If they don't, we will end up reducing them further within a week. I went back a week later. They were pretty much all still there at that price. I'm like, Easter's over. Only people are going to be buying eggs is if they're actually reduced. So, um, yeah. I know Tesco used to be good for the reduced eggs, but I don't really go there now. So, I'm just excited. I'm hoping this isn't knocking my tripod because um, when I was putting it, switching the camera on, it was shaking. It was, you know, having a good old rattle around and um i'm just hoping i yeah look i'm accidentally moving it and it's shaking oh my god i hope i hope it doesn't get to the point of me finishing this video and then it's like complete shaky mess because yeah i'm not about that okay i love this blue color it's so nice I do want to get some more of these stickers, so um, I just think they're quite expensive, to be honest, for what they are. I will happily spend, you know, a good 20, 30 quid on Timu buying stuff. But when it comes to spending, like, a bit more on sort of one item, I don't know. I think, was there postage as well, I think, for with um, the Craft Buddy? That's where I got it from, isn't it? I think there should there was postage to be honest i looked um at the works they're not in stock or weren't in stock at the works but i think if anything they were like slightly more on the works i'm not saying they were like massively cost more money but they were like a pound not a pound i don't think they were even a pound more but they were like something like 10p more or something ridiculous on the works i mean that's like nothing is it but at the same time why would i order it on the works when i can get it from craft buddy um, for 10p less and they seem to have a better delivery service than the works now i haven't ordered on the works website in probably going on two years now 
Um, I made an order on there. No, it was, was it two years ago? I honestly cannot remember it. No, I think it was, I think it was like nearly two years ago. I ordered some books on their website and I just remember them taking ages to arrive. Um, I do like the shop though. Having said that, I went into the shop the other day to, um, I can't even remember what I went in. I went in to get something and I had a look and I couldn't find any diamond paintings in there. So, um, it's a bit disappointing. And I was looking at their colouring books as well because I love colouring and they had a um, Kirby Roseanne's book in there. I can't remember which one it was. And I was tempted. I think it was really quite affordable. But um, when I looked further at it, um, I was like, I don't know if I really want this. There was pictures in there of colour, but there were some that were just similar to the book I already owned. And then others, I was like, you know, I will colour them, but there's nothing that really like stood out to me. Um, I don't know if I said in another video, but I'm on the hunt for like an animal colouring book. Ideally, something on fairly decent quality paper that's single sided and is of animals, but is like of common animals. The problem with the Kirby Roseanne's book I have, which is an animal book, is the animals on there are like rare animals or extinct or soon to be extinct um and as much as like you can see on there some of them are frogs and some of them are you know animals you might know there is a lot on there that i just don't know what the animal is and i can search them up and that's all great but i want to do ones of like common animals i want to do like pictures of butterflies and ducks and yeah and my ai i got an um a, an actual animal coloring book some lovely animals in there but it's AI generated and the paper is terrible so um it's such a shame I have had another look at different animal coloring books but you see I just don't know I can't really find any that I'm like wow I want this I'm really loving animals I don't really know why because I never used to be an animal person but I love doing animal diamond painting I love animal coloring I love reading about animals. I love watching videos about animals. I'm kind of becoming a bit of an animal person. So, um, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, we've got quite a few Ds left. There's me thinking this is going to be a quick video. It's probably going to be, I said maybe in about 13 minutes. Okay. I'm using my cutting mat as background. This is also something which is going to be featured in my Timu haul. Um, so yeah, I could reschedule my Timu haul and have it up earlier, but I don't think I will because I've got my um, she and marker review coming up. I think um, you would have seen that, that video. You should have seen that video by now, if not, it is on my channel. But I believe I was mentioning that, that you know, sort of TikTok and Timu do the same sort of markers. I believe they are the same ones that the TikTok shop do because there's someone um, I watch on YouTube and she has markers from the TikTok shop. And I believe she mentioned the brand and it's exactly the same. Um, I, I love those markers. I've been using them a bit. To be honest, it's like... How many days into, I don't even know how many days we are into February. No, we're not 10 days in because that's Mother's Day. We're like over a week into February and I haven't done any colouring yet. Um, I've been just focusing on this single diamond painting. It's, I don't know what the size of it is. It's not a massive size, but it is a little bit big and taking me a little bit of time. And yeah, I'm kind of wanting to get that finished. So yeah, and then I think I started it and then I had like two days where I didn't do any of it, but I didn't do anything. I don't even know um, what I was doing in those two days. I'm actually now thinking about this because 
During those two days, I didn't do any of that diamond painting. I didn't do any colouring. I may have, it may have been when I started the book that I'm reading, but I didn't read much if I did. I must have been busy. I don't know what I was doing. Um, because I wasn't busy as in, I wasn't like busy, busy. I mean, I think I was out one of the, obviously, I think this was like on maybe work days in the evenings. So um, I didn't sort of have, obviously, on those sorts of days, it is limiting time. But I don't think I was doing anything else in the evening, you know, I was just watching a bit of TV or YouTube. So, um, yeah, I'm excited because Big Brother is on soon. Um, I don't know, I've just been so obsessed with it, kind of. Um, it's still early days, it's only a few days in. So we haven't had the first um, time I'm filming this. We haven't had the first uh, nomination. Well, like eviction yet. But I found out that um, Gary is going to be in the line for eviction. If you don't watch it, then this is going to be completely irrelevant for you. And you're probably not going to know what I'm on about. But um, yeah, it's exciting. I kind of like am hoping that Gary goes because I just don't know I'm just don't really feel like he I don't know it's just something about him I'm not 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 sold on so yeah it's interesting though because like it's because they're all celebrities and stuff and they're from maybe other shows or other things just hearing about kind of things like um obviously Louis Walsh and that talking about X Factor and um Fern Britton talking about this morning and all of this kind of stuff is really interesting. So yeah. I want I don't know if I've mentioned but I want to get a really big diamond painting. Like I don't even know what the size would be, but like massive one that will cover like a big bit of wall because a lot of the walls in my, where I live are quite big and empty and putting a little diamond painting, even like an A3 diamond painting, they look tiny on the wall. They look silly. They look a joke because there's so much white space around it. I want one. There's like a big bit of space behind my sofa um and I want basically on the wall there like some long landscape big diamond painting I just don't know or can't find any that I want because it's going to be so big I want one that's going to be kind of quite plain and neutral just to match kind of my decor um, and because it's so big, I don't want it to, even though I love colourful diamond paintings and have a lot of them and stuff, I don't mind having like small colourful diamond paintings, but for a big one, I want it quite plain. Um, and quite, I don't know, or, or more kind of abstract or artsy or looks more like a picture, like a piece of artwork, if you get what I mean, not, not like, um, an image of a animal or flowers or whatever it is but um okay so I've done all of letter what is this d okay let's move on to e so yeah I, I I really want that but I can't find one that I want so I had a look on um Timu and they had like when I searched it up there was ones that came up there was a lot of like animal ones obviously and a lot of sea themed ones which is not what I'm wanting and you know they were like I say probably 10 pounds plus maybe I think I can't remember now which is not too bad like I don't mind paying that if it's going to be good but I don't want one of a load of fish you know they did have one on there it was like some abstract design. I think it was like 
I can't even remember what it was. Was it like circle, like some circles or, I honestly can't remember. It was something a bit abstracty, abstract, abstract. I can't pronounce it, but yeah, something a bit simple. And it was like quite plain colours, but I believe it either had gold in or brown. And I'm like, no, I don't want those colours. Um, I'm not a fan of gold. I'm more of a silver person. And I'd rather have silver in. And I'm not a fan of brown. Even though I said I wanted something neutral, I don't want that. I'd rather have like a grey or like a white or black or something. Um, yeah, or even like... Even like beige would be all right, probably, but but like brown, no, not for me, not for me. Yeah, I want to get a new, like completely off topic, but I want to get a new light as well for my living room and for my bedroom, ideally, like new lampshade. Um, when I moved into my property, I got a pack of two lampshades from next i can't remember how much they were but they were really good value and they were really nice but they're quite small and the bulbs are a nightmare to get because um i don't even know like i tried searching for the bulbs one of the bulbs i think it was in the bedroom one ran out and i tried searching for bulbs the bulbs it required and you know i looked everywhere pretty much i looked in like um where did i look at the time it was like wilco's b m supermarkets and i couldn't find one now amazon probably sold one but i'm very careful if i get a bulb i want it to come from like a reputable shop or brand i do not want some off brand on amazon because you know this is this is you know, ele electric after all, you know, it's going into the electric, it's, I want it to be safe. So, for that purpose, yeah, I couldn't find one. Now, the next, next actually sold some bulbs individually, but they were expensive, and I'm like, no, and you got to pay delivery, because they're not in the store, and, oh, I just, yeah. Um, luckily, the lamp in the bedroom, I don't really use anyway, so it's not really an issue. I've got like a ceiling light I can just use and then obviously when I get into bed it's turned off anyway so yeah I want to get a new some new lamps but my gosh lamps are expensive I want big bigger ones as well the so ones I've got are quite small um and I want like ones from a legit sort of company or something either like a legit company or a legit shop um Again, I just don't want any off-branded lights from Amazon, Timu, etc. Again, I'm a bit, I don't know, I'm a bit thing about that because it's obviously got power cable and stuff. And I don't know, I want to make sure it's all legitly made and things. I used to not be as thing about it, I was as worried about it. But now I'm older, I'm like, yeah, you know, you've got to be careful for fires and all this stuff. So, um, I was looking at Next because Next do do good home web. It's expensive. I had a look at the range, Dunelm, loads of places. It's the kind of thing I probably would have gotten Wilco if Wilco still existed. There's times I just go past where Wilco was and I'm like, oh, it's so sad. And like, there's times when I'm like, oh, I could do with getting this. And then it's like, oh, Wilco would have been the perfect place for it. And I've got B&M. I've got a B&M not far. And I can go to B&M. But B&M is just... Some of the stuff in there I find more expensive. They sell food as well. And quite a lot of food. So it's easy to get sidetracked in B&M. Um, you know, I know the joke that you go in for one thing, come out with loads of things. But like for me, it's like you go in and come out with a load of food. Because they like do chocolate cheap or they do a drink you've never had before and you want to try it. So um, that's personally what happens with me. 
with regards to like actual um be in wilco you know there wasn't really that much of an opportunity to do that i mean they had some food in there sometimes but none of it was ever that appealing to me and they had to pick a mix and oh i would never get from the pick and mix again um yeah i'm not going to tell you but i saw some 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 very unhygienic stuff uh, or something something just a bit bit unhygienic in my eyes at the pick and mix like someone doing something so i was just like that I'm not getting that. Um, plus, pick and mix is expensive. Saying that, Wilco pick and mix was good because they sometimes did the half price pick and mix. So yeah, that was all right. Um, but cinema, oh cinema! I haven't been to the cinema in years anyway because it's expensive. Um, especially as the cinema near me is like a deluxe cinema, so it's going to cost more anyway. But. Um, yeah, the cinema's a joke, but the food in there is expensive. Back when I used to go to the cinema, mainly when I was a student, like when I was at college and stuff, because um, you obviously get a discount then, I used to just go to the pound shop and get like stuff to take in. And uh, there was always this thing, like people say, oh, you get your bags checked and stuff. But if I put it in my handbag, they're not going to go through my handbag. Um, they never try to. Fair enough, they might be a bit suspicious if you're walking in with a big pound lamb bag full of snacks. But if you put it in like um, an actual bag, like a handbag, rucksack, whatever you're carrying, then why are they going to go through that? Like, that's personal. Anyway, I don't know, it's just, yeah. I mean... I swear when I was a child, my mum, my mum, my mum made me lunch to take to the cinema when I was a child once. Like I legit sat in the cinema with a whole sandwich or something. I don't even know why. Um, I suppose it was probably cheaper than buying something at the cinema, but yeah. I mean, I would kind of do that now, maybe. No, I don't know if I'd do that, but I would, I would um, definitely pre-buy snacks and drinks. The only good thing is the Tango Ice Blasts. They are oh, so good. But, um, yeah, so expensive. I've been tempted just to go in the cinema just to get a Tango Ice Blast. But I think there is like um, a shake place near me that do Tango Ice Blasts, but I've never been there. And I don't know how good it is. So, I mean, a Tango Ice Blast is a Tango Ice Blast, the same machine, isn't it? So be all right i do love a milkshake as well especially like a fancy milkshake i don't like milkshakes anymore in the shops i mean the mars ones are okay but like the fridge milkshakes and the yazoo ones i just don't like they just disappoint me they're just watery and just yeah not good and um, the light's gone out Okay, let's see if I can quickly try and salvage this. But um, yeah, I like milkshakes with like fancy flavours, you know, like Lotus milkshakes and Oreos and oh, don't okay. I'm hoping that this is alright and it's not going to be too. Don't know if you'll be able to see. Is that is that okay? I don't know. I'm hoping that's okay. Sorry for the sounds. Um, I haven't got far to go yet. I mean, it's taken nearly half an hour to do this little thing. Um, but yeah. gonna be cute when it's done um i will seal it off camera and then stick it in my book and yeah i've seen people sell individual uh stickers on where is it vintage which is cool 
But my thing is, is like, my thing is, 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 is it's cool that they're selling them individually. It's, it's, it's fine. But it's like, you'll end up probably paying more for the actual sticker than you will. Um, you'll probably end up paying more for it individually than you would buying a pack by the time you've added on the buyer's protection fees, etc. and postage. So I will do B next. I was hoping this would be super quick to film. Um, clearly not, but it's fine. It's fine. Honestly, do not know the time. Um, I wonder if I could, oh, my phone, yeah, I'm using my phone now. Um, I don't know when I do my completed diamond and paintings, I don't know if to show my Disney stickers. Um, maybe I could do, I just don't know if I'm going to get any more done. I don't know. I know some people have completed it and got them all. Um, yeah, I I just don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but hopefully at some point. Okay, and then we've got a load of C's and a load of A's to do. Let's do A next. Oh, this is a nice colour. This is a lovely purple colour, like a very lilac colour. Um, it looks a little bit pink, actually, probably. I don't know what it's coming up on, like on camera. But I think it, it, it could look a little pink, but it is definitely a purple. Um, it's not actually my favourite colour shade of purple. I prefer dark purple. Um, I think purple is an underrated colour. I don't know. I just don't. Yeah. Strangely. Isn't it weird? When you were a child, you'd ask like people questions like what your favourite colour is. And as an adult, like you don't really ever know that from people. Certain questions you just never really... Adults, obviously as an adult, you never really think to ask people but you know it's, I find that stuff kind of interesting I like what people's favorite color is or favorite animals or things I like hearing about people's favorite things it's making me think of that song now these are a few of my favorite things um yeah If I can find the link to these still, um, these stickers, I will leave them linked down below for anyone that is interested. Um, they're still available. I might order some more soon. I just don't know. Um, I've got so much. Well, I've got so much. But my diamond painting stuff is getting more and more now. And yeah. I basically have a little, well, not little, but I have a a storage box and it well actually originally had my coloring stuff in um and then that grew and I ended up taking up a whole shelf plus a bit more like a shelf and a half on my bookcase for my coloring stuff oh probably two shelves if you count everything at the top as well yeah, so um, now this is my diamond painting storage. And yeah, uh, it's getting quite full. So I really need to stop because I think when I've done a few, it's a bit different because I can then have space to get more. But I shouldn't really be buying any more until I've done some of the more few that some of the ones that I've done. It's just. 
I keep saying, oh, well, it will create a video for the channel. Like, oh, that will create a whole video. But it's like, I couldn't really be buying them just to create a video. I know I will do them. It's not, that's not an issue. It's just, yeah. All the ones that I've purchased, I will get around to doing. It's just, yeah. I am in two minds about my Me To You painting that I got, though, because I did get that at the end of last year from Timu, and I just don't like the quote that's on it. And I am in two minds about whether to sell it. But, um... I don't know. Any that I don't want, I will just list on Vinted or eBay or anything like that. But but I um, do like to keep anything that I've got because, yeah. I don't know if I send a video, but I saw someone selling um, diamond paintings at my local car boot. I've seen them a few times now, actually. And, uh, yeah, they're selling them quite, quite, quite expensive, to be honest. Well, no, not expensive. They're still cheap, but they're not anything as cheap as buying them from... Um, Timu. And they are some of the lower end ones you can get on Timu. So, yeah. A bit... I don't know, I just don't really want to. Do you want to get more Disney diamond paintings though? Like, well, I haven't got any apart from these stickers. But I want, like, a Mickey Mouse diamond painting. That would be so cool. Yeah, Mickey... I like Mickey Mouse. Almost there. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of this diamond painting because the bottom bit, well, not diamond painting, this diamond pen because um, the the pen, the bottom bit can come a bit loose. So it's not the most best pen. Some pens are so expensive though. Like I've seen pens on Timu for like over £5. I'm like, it's a pen at the end of the day. It's not, you know, it's not... Um, anything too exciting I am a bit of a cheapskate I just I don't know I like to buy things cheap Okay, get this one in. And we're done with A. Woohoo. Oh my god, it's nearly been 40 minutes. 40 minutes of me doing this little sticker. Wow, I am slow. I am so slow. Just as well, they give you extra diamonds because I actually dropped some earlier um, as I was trying to open the packet. Because with these packet ones, I know you don't need to cut them. They just automatically can rip open, which is interesting. Whereas if you get something like a um, cheaper diamond painting, say from Timu, you have to cut open the packets, which is fine. But um, yeah, I always just try to just to see if I can rip them. Save me getting my scissors because I'm lazy. That requires me going to the kitchen. I'm so lazy. Oh dear. Exposing myself on camera. I need a snack actually. I could do a snack soon. Because uh, 
yeah when i'm watching big brother i don't have snacks all the time like every day because it's, it's bad and expensive and whatever but sometimes i just want a snack um but yeah oh one more come on And we're done. We are done. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Um, so yeah, hopefully you can see that. That is just so lovely. Is that yeah, it is all done. It's like I think it's meant to be like that, I think. Yeah, his ears cut. Oh, I suppose he's got the cut bit up here and then a cut bit down there for that ear. Oh, that is so, so pretty. I love the colours. Um, hopefully you've been able to see this okay um, and the lighting's not been too bad. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Please like and subscribe and share this video. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.